I would like you to imagine something. Close your eyes. Imagine this. You're walking in the mall. You notice a person coming towards you. She is disabled. Maybe she's slumped over. Maybe she's grunting loudly. Maybe she's staring blankly. Maybe she has drool coming down her chin. What do you do? Where do your eyes look as you pass her? Do they look down at the ground, not wanting to say hello? Or do you look into her eyes and say hello? This happened to us one day. We were fifth graders at Fox for intermediate school. We passed someone in a wheelchair, but our eyes did not look up before. Our eyes met and said hello. Our hellos became more frequent, and this all eventually led to a friendship. On the outside, Umbar Merle may not look like your normal middle school girl. And these are some pictures of us at Umbar. Living her life in a wheelchair, she can't do normal middle school things. One passing around the hall may not take the time to become her friend due to these limitations. However, being willing to take on her challenges with her has changed our lives greatly. Umbar has a disease called giant anaxial dystrophy, a rare form of muscular dystrophy. Roughly 25 people in the United States of America have this disease. Basically, her muscles are slowly deteriorating, and at the age of 10, she needs to be put in her wheelchair full time. Her hands don't always work the way she wants to. Simple tasks such as holding a spoon, brushing her teeth, or getting herself dressed are challenges. Another trait of this disease is curly hair. Now, would you judge her based on her appearance? And if you did, as I know many, many kids at Fox you did, then you missed out on the chance to be friends with one of the funniest, coolest, and most inspirational girls ever. On the inside, Umbar Murrow loves the same thing as any other teenage girl. She loves crafting, shopping, hanging out with her friends, and boys. Despite her physical limitation, she's just an ordinary girl. An ordinary girl that wants to fit in, belong to a group, and have best friends. Until we met her, she hadn't had any best friends. She was not confident, and she was lonely. She was waiting, waiting for us. When our friendship began, she invited us over to her house. It was a little different, because her mom always needed to be around just in case she needed help. We couldn't just do spontaneous things like, let's go to the bedroom and talk. Let's go downstairs and watch a movie. Because every time she moves, it's a big ordeal. Never just simple. As our friendship grew, we wanted to have her come to our house. However, this is not a typical hanging out with friends. It's not normal to have your dad carry your friend into your house. It's not normal to have to help your friend go to the bathroom. It's not normal to have to feed your friend. But it is normal to laugh. But it is normal to play games. But it is normal to have fashion shows. But it is normal to share secrets. But it is normal to feel a connection with somebody. A disability doesn't make somebody not a friend. Not only us, but a whole family embraces Umbar. Little by little, she became part of our family. Our family sees her what we see her. And our hangouts became more like family events. At Christmas, one of our family traditions is to ring the bells for the Salvation Army. After hearing this, Umbar decided that she too wanted help and then she came along and helped us ring the bells. When we made sugar cookies with our grandma to donate to the Freedom House, Umbar decided that she too wanted to help, and she made cookies. We always included her in family events like birthday parties. She makes our family a little brighter. It wasn't always easy or convenient, but it was always totally worth it. One of the coolest things about Umbar is that she never ever feels sorry for herself or her condition. She has the sunniest, happiest outlook on life. On the inside, she, she has a lot of dreams. Some dreams we try to fulfill. Other dreams we just talk about, like friends do. Hey guys, can we go hot air ballooning someday? Can we go sledding someday? Can we go ice skating someday? We always respond with, sure we can, someday. We've never put any limitation on her because she's never put any on herself. We remind her that she's the smartest and bravest around the world. She is more courage than anybody we've ever met. And like any other teenager, Omar just wants to be popular. To her, this means having a lot of friends. And after telling us this, we created an Instagram for her so she could have the feeling of fame. We just wanted her wish to come true. Our friends have become her friends, and our extended family has also became friends with her. We try to show others how important it is to give a disabled person a chance, a chance to be a friend. We have opened up our world. Umbar was very fortunate to have been granted Make-A-Wish. Like many other teenage girls, her wish was to go to Disney World for her birthday. We were so excited for her to finally have her wish come true. However, she just wasn't as excited as we expected. We didn't know why. We didn't know what she knew. After returning from her trip, she knew what was gonna happen. She knew she was gonna be moving across the country, away from the pier, away from the teacher she loved, away from the therapists, away from her home, away from the Rabbit family she loved so. The day she told us the news, we were all heartbroken and it was one of our saddest days. We were trying to show the positives of the move. You see, Omar's grandpa was sick. Her parents wanted to be close to him. But close to him was California. 
but close to him was far from us. She thought that we'd be mad at her. She thought that we would forget her. She thought that the family she loved would find a replacement for her. But little did she know, she was a part of us, and she was never replaceable. One year later, we continued to FaceTime Umbar every few days. When we FaceTime Umbar, we just passed the phone around. She talks to each of us. She tells us about her high school happenings, the cute boys she comes upon, the mean teachers she deals with, normal stuff. We have kept the connection alive throughout the past year. When something exciting happens, we FaceTime Umbar to tell her the news. If something sad happens, we tell her about that stuff too. Just the other night, after reading a joke book, she had the five of us huddled around the phone screen, bursting out laughter. That girl can make us laugh. One of the best things about her is her witty, corny sense of humor. Now, no one would have ever known that if they hadn't given her a chance to be their friend. Omar often tells us how important we are to her. Before meeting us, she didn't have friends. She wasn't confident. She didn't have friends to go to the mall with. She didn't have friends to hang out with. She thought that she was lucky to be friends with us. She thought that we impacted her. But little did she know. Because of Umbar, we have learned to never, ever judge someone based on their appearance. Never look at a person and see what they can't do. To really know someone, really know someone, means that you need to get beyond the outside. What would have happened if we hadn't said hello in the hall that day? What would have happened if we hadn't given her a chance? Then this story would have never existed. But what is our message we learned from our best friend? What message do we try to spread to others? First, never judge a book by its cover. All of you have heard those words over and over, but how have you lived by those words? Have you ever reached out to someone who looks different? Have you ever given someone who looks lonely a smile? Second, you can make a difference. You can be the one person, the one person who makes someone feel special, the one person who gives someone the chance they need, the one person who sees someone for who they really are. Third, friends are forever. The relationships you build, the relationships are really important to you. Even though struggles, you need to find a way to make things work out. Because friends can become family, and family is forever. Fourth, it's okay to have friends that don't fit the word ordinary. The best things in life aren't ordinary. They're extraordinary. And Umbar is our extraordinary. So you have it. The story of our contribution to the world. All it took was, was a simple, simple hello. hello.